this is an extremely fibrotic capsule in an 11-year-old with uveitis since age 2. You can see that even this sharp cystotome is having difficulty puncturing this fibrotic anterior capsule. Vision Blue has been used to stain the capsule, but it doesn't stain very well. I find that painting Vision Blue under viscoelastic and leaving it there for a while is more effective in staining than just filling the anterior chamber. Well, after finally getting a little opening, we're going to try to tear, but this very fibrotic capsule, I'm sure, will have a challenge. I don't have a Fugo blade, but this is a case where, other than tearing, uh, is necessary. You can see a little later on we're going to use a capsule scissors or a retinal scissors to cut. Many times these fibrotic anterior capsules have ridges of fibrosis that you can cut through and then carry on with tearing. But this one appears to be one that's going to require a lot of cutting. Have to be careful not to pull too hard to stress the zonules. Trying to aspirate a little cortex there, but decided now to put on more viscoelastic. You can see it being painted under the cohesive viscoelastic. It just doesn't want to stain very well. Notice that a summer ring, ring has, uh, I'm sorry, a malugan ring has been placed to expand the pupil. So that part was not included here, just focusing on the challenge of opening this capsule. This lens is not intumescent and not able to just aspirate and then have a clear reflex to use for finishing the capsular rexus with the bag supported by viscoelastic, which I have done sometimes. Now you can see that cutting through a fibrotic element, we are able to do some more tearing and then we'll probably run into fibrotic bands again. If 
one can get a big enough opening to do the lens removal, this type of capsule opening can always be expanded with the vitrector and still be secure for lens implantation. Because a fibrotic capsule, we can fashion the vitrectomy nibbles to, to leave little scallops in the capsular edge that are still resistant to tearing. If we just direct the port of the vitrector properly, but we're still able to proceed here so as long as we can keep extending with tearing, we'll continue that technique. Some capsulorexis instruments have longer tips and sharper tips and can more easily grasp these edges. I consider the capsule opening the most critical part of the operation. To be able to use optic capture if we can't use in-bag fixation. We've added more viscoelastic and using a different forceps here now for easier grasp of the capsule. And hopefully we won't run into any more real fibrotic bands, but if it can be in an area where we can approach it with the scissors, we can always cut through that. I've also found that quite often the fibrotic element is within the central four millimeters or so of the capsule and if one just makes the capsule opening larger one can get around the fibrotic elements. But other times the fibrotic bands can go out to the equatorial area. Well, we're fortunate we haven't run into any fibrotic band and we're getting near the start, starting point of the CCC. It will also be interesting to see if the femtosecond lasers are able to manage these fibrotic capsules. So it appeared that we had this capsule free Maybe there is a tag, or is it just attached to the nucleus? We now have the capsule opening complete. And we're just going to enlarge this capsule opening now with the vitrector, as I stated. And make sure it's ready for 
in bag placement of the IOL. So this is sort of an extreme case of using tearing cutting techniques for fibrotic anterior capsule. And uh, thank you for the, your attention.